AI for presentations is a very solid use case for every marketer or business owner. So in this video, I'll share seven ways you can use Copilot Pro to improve your PowerPoint presentations. But why Copilot in particular, but not all the AI presentation tools? I know there are lots of amazing AI presentation tools out there, but when it comes to presentations, PowerPoint is still the top three players in the field. And the compatibility and seamless integrations of Copilot with Microsoft Office products just make it very handy to the end user compared to other AI tools. And also, I'm a Say security is a big concern unless you're just making a presentation using public available data, your passion project, building a presentation using sensitive product information, customer data, sales data on all the AI presentation tools still has its own risk compared with Microsoft 365, which definitely provide more security features. Though using Copilot for presentations still has its limitations. Unlike other tools, for now, it may offer less detailed customization options, flexibility in adjusting the presentation design, and you will see in action in a minute. For the following demo, I'm using the Microsoft 365 for personal account license and a Copilot Pro license. If you don't have a Microsoft 365 license and just have a Copilot Pro license, you may still be able to achieve some of the use cases that I mentioned. But the experience would be limited, as for now, you can only access Copilot Pro on the PowerPoint web versions. And if you're using the Microsoft 365 Copilot, that's the business license, is even better. As for some use cases, the experience is even more intuitive than in the personal license. All right, the first way is, of course, to create a basic presentations using Copilot. With AI, you can build a presentation draft much faster. And currently, there are two ways you can use Copilot to do that. The first option is on PowerPoint, open the Copilot chat window, and you will see different preview options to get you started. And then click the Create a Presentation About. This prompt will help you to build a presentation from scratch about any topic. Let's say I'm creating a deck about marketing psychology and then enter the details and click enter and then it will start generating the slides and within a minute you will see a basic presentation structure and I would say it's not too bad copilot also includes relevant stock images in the presentations and even speakers notes so you can use them during the presentation mode if you want to start with a theme you can actually first click the designer and that provides you different themes and templates to start with. Once you pick a theme and then use the same prompt again and generate the slides, and then you will see Copilot will generate the slides with a consistent theme. You can then fine tune the layout for each slice using the designer feature. It's very handy. Or if you have a business template, you can also start with that. And the second option is to click this little Copilot icon that appears on the top of this blank slide. Select Create a Presentation About, and then it would prompt a chat window. And this time, you can input a more detailed prompts, like how many sections and what are the section details. And then Copilot will generate the outline for you, and you can change the order, remove any sections if you don't want, or add a new section. And once it confirmed, you can click Generate Slides, and then you will quickly get a presentation structure to start with. And so this method works quite similar with the chat window method, but it allows you to import more details, adjust the outline before it generates the slides. If you don't like the presentations, you can always ask it to regenerate the whole presentations. But note that you'll be prompted to replace existing slides, and currently there's no options to change a particular slide of the presentation. The next is to create from an existing Word file. It's even better than starting from scratch, because oftentimes we need to create presentations based on some existing information, perhaps it's a report, a training document, or a proposal. Let's say you're planning the Black Friday promotion, and here is your proposal in a Word file saved on Microsoft OneDrive. A note here is, if you have any images that you want Copilot to use in your presentation, make sure you also include in this document. Like in this case, add this chart for the budget split and then copy the OneDrive link for this document. And then go back to PowerPoint, open the chat window, and this time click create a presentation from. And this options will allow you to create a presentation from an existing file. Now an interesting thing is if you're on the Microsoft 365 Copilot, that's the business license, you will be able to attach the file 
right away here in the chat by typing the black slash. But if you're using a personal license like in this demo, currently these options is not available. So that's why the workaround here is to copy the OneDrive link here. And then you will see Copilot is building the outline from a document. And the output looks pretty complete with all the key sections. And this is one of the best use cases for Copilot. Sometimes you just don't want to deal with the design and now you can work your draft on work file and ask Copilot to create a draft for you as a starting point. And this makes everything so much easier. So you can make adjustment to any slide and you can even start with your organization template or any existing template and use the same prompts. It can apply to any work documents, so it can help you to quickly build a deck draft pretty quickly. Though this method has some limitations. For example, you can create presentations only from one file at a time. So pasting two document links won't work. And also, even if you want to ask it to add more slides from an other work file, it will replace all the existing slides in the presentations. So hopefully Microsoft will improve that in the coming future. The next way is to create from a PDF report. Day to day, we receive many PDF files, reports, so it will be super useful to be able to create presentations quickly from a PDF file. But again, unless you're using the business license, this directly insert option is not available using the personal license. So we need to have a workaround. Let's say you have an industry research report and you want to consolidate the findings for your presentations. So first, you need to convert it into a work file before you can insert it into Copilot in PowerPoint. One way you can do it, which I recommend, is to try to open it directly from Microsoft Word application. And it will try converting the PDF for you. Depending on your PDF file, sometimes it may not work if there is lots of design or very complex. But still, I recommend you try it first because it's more secure. So for this report, we can successfully convert it into a web file. Another way is to use this Adobe PDF to Word online free converter. I will put the link below. It's completely free and it works well. Though I suggest not to use it to convert any sensitive PDF reports whenever possible. Once you have the converted web file, again, upload to OneDrive and get the link. Then on PowerPoint, use to create a presentation from and paste back the OneDrive link. Again, the process is pretty similar and you will see it will base on the PDF images, content, and start building the dead draft. And I really like how to use the images from a PDF report for the deck. And so it's important to review your source before you fit it into Copilot. And of course, you can always modify the layout and punish it a bit. Now we can actually summarize the file first before we create the presentations. It is useful if you have a really big PDF report with lots of pages. On Microsoft Word, you can open the Copilot chat window and ask it to summarize the whole document into five key points. If you want it really precise, you can even type three key points. And this way, you can extract the most important details from the file before you start creating the presentation. So copy these summarized key points and then on PowerPoint, use the prompt create a presentation about and copy the details here to generate the slides. And now you can see there are much fewer slides and the presentation draft is more compact with only the key details. Of course, always make necessary changes. Another useful way is to create presentations in multiple languages. This is increasingly useful, especially if you're working in a multinational organization or need to deal with content in different languages. Amazing thing is Copilot supports more than 40 languages, which is a huge advantage compared with all the AI presentation tools. So to create new presentations in other language, the simplest way is to ask Copilot to build the slides in your target language. Let's say I need to build a deck about using AI for marketing, targeting the German language, and then it will build a deck draft for you in German. And even the speaker's note is in German language, which is pretty amazing. And of course, in this case, I don't know German, so make sure you always double check with a human knowing this language, because AI can make mistakes. And again, if you want, you can also use the replace with presentation about to enter more details and revise the outline in your target language before generating. Another way is to first translate it from an existing document. Let's say we have this document about digital marketing 101 as is in English, and then copy the entire content and ask Copilot to first translate it into your target language, let's say French. 
and then it will immediately do exactly the same. And the best thing that I like is that it will always follow the same structure, same formatting, so you don't need to do the formatting again. And then save it as a separate document and upload to OneDrive to get the link. Now on PowerPoint, use to create a presentation from a file using that link, and you will get a presentation draft for a target language pretty quickly. It's pretty awesome. Note that if you ask it to translate the whole document using the Copilot chat window from the sidebar, it may not work for now. So I suggest always select the text first and ask Copilot to make changes directly. Now, another scenario is let's say you have an existing presentation in English and you just want to translate it into a different language. And in this case, you can actually just use the existing translation features on PowerPoint without Copilot. So go to review and then click translation. So you will see a translator window pops up. So highlight the text you want to translate and your target language and the translated text will be shown. And then you can just insert it into the slide. This is very handy. So currently Copilot can do the translation for an entire document with just simple clicks, but hopefully it's available in the future as it keeps improving. Now you have some ideas on how to quickly build a presentation draft. Next, we can also make some changes quickly with the help of Copilot. So using the previous example, let's say you want to expand a bit for this presentation. And now you can ask it to add a slide about some example for this topic. And then it will immediately build the draft for you. And what I like is that it will follow the existing theme. Or another way is to ask it to expand the point for a particular slide, and then it will expand it for you as well. But the limitation is you will need to manually copy and add it yourself. And if you want to add a slide with more details, you can also specify it in the prompts, and it will follow exactly the content that you provided. You can even adjust the layout a bit using the designer features. And then the last thing is you can also add a slide for the agenda to make it look more completed. Another way to improve your presentations is by adding more images, graphs, charts to your existing presentations and punish it a bit. Let's say we have these basic presentations with a theme and we want to add some images and then we can ask your pilot to find an image about any slide. And then it will base on its understanding about the slide content and propose the image for you. Note these images are all licensed stock images and you can use it in your presentation. And then you can punish the layout a bit using designer. Another way is to actually ask it to generate an AI image for you about a certain topic. Let's say for this slide about unified data ecosystem, and then you will see there is a little annotation here saying this image is created using AI with an image creator from designer. And you can confidently use it for your presentation. This is a very handy way to add images. Unlike in the past, we need to source the images from somewhere else. So this makes the process much faster and easier. Easier. One limitation I would say is for now, you can't easily change or replace an image on a slide and you need to delete and add a new one. And of course, if you don't want to use Copilot, you can always punish it using Designer. And sometimes you may also want to add charts to your presentations, perhaps the marketing campaign data. And then the best way I recommend is to first build a chart on Excel or other AI tools like ChatGPT. Let's say I have these marketing research findings and then I can open Copilot and ask it to generate the chart to show the relationship between the gender and the profession. And then it will build a pivot table for you. Then add it to a new sheet and you can again ask it to generate the chart from this table. Add a chart title, copy it, and then you can paste it back to your presentations. So currently I would say the chart generation functions of Copilot is quite limited. So using it on Excel or ChatGPT can be a workaround to quickly build a chart before you fit it to your presentation. Another way is to build a reusable presentation template. This is particularly useful when you need to create the same type of presentations from time to time. For example, you're doing a monthly reporting presentations for your marketing campaign 
or yearly marketing planning across different regional teams that need to use the same template. Let's say we're building a monthly digital marketing reporting presentation template. We can first use Microsoft Word to draft the outline for this template and what are the core sections to be included. And then again, upload to OneDrive and copy the document link. Now on PowerPoint, pick a theme and you can always pick your organization theme if you have one. If not, you can always create new from an existing template. And let's search for reporting. So these template themes looks good to start with. And then again on Copilot, create the presentations from this document file link and it will prompt you to replace the existing slides. Click yes and then it will build the slides for you. So this is a good starting point and we can adjust the layout and content data to make sure it is useful. And perhaps if you have a logo, you can also add it here. So note that since now we're using designer's laid out, any changes that you make using the slide master will not be reflected here unless you reset the whole slide. So assume we have finished and then we can save the template and share it with other teams so they can build this presentation from this template every time when they need. I know these use cases may feel a bit overwhelmed if you're new to Copilot. So if you need any prompt idea to start with on Copilot in PowerPoint, you can check out the official prompt library. And actually not just PowerPoint, you can explore other prompt templates for other Microsoft 365 applications. Another resource that I recommend is the PowerPoint presentation template library. It contains lots of different types of PowerPoint templates to start with, and you can search for anything and get started so easily. And I believe Leave, you will find some good inspirations from this library. I'll include all the links below. Any more questions about using Copilot for presentations, let me know in the comments. And before you go, I also have more videos about using AI for marketing. So make sure you check it out. I'll see you next time.